The Catholic Rockets were the story of 6A. After struggling last year, they're 10-0 this season. Catholic is off this week. They'll play either El Dorado or Little Rock Christian Academy. Nick Walters went to Warriorville. He has more. That's right, Wes. In West Little Rock tonight, there's flurries of rain in the sky and chill in the air. So in round one, it's not just do or die season, but it's jacket season. However, don't tell Little Rock Christian that because they got hot at the right time. Not losing a game since their bye week in September. And just last week, shocking Greenwood at the time, the highest ranked team in Class 6A. But could the 6A defending state champs give them issues? Let's find out. Who would play lights out to stay alive in the chase for state? On the opening possession, the Wildcats show they didn't make this long trip to fall flat. Jalen Wallace goes up for the pick, but the Warriors get it back and get in business. Ronnie Inoke bursting through the gut and barreling over the goal line. LRCA draws first blood to go up 7-zip. On the ensuing kickoff, El Dorado punches right back. DeAndre Burns has the ball off the bounce and bounces this one to the outside. Chugging ahead and changing tracks, putting a dude on skates. Burns puts on the burners, leaving everyone in the dust. One high five later, it's a house call. Wildcats not this thing up at seven in the first. And that's the spark their defense needed. Trayson Jones has El Dorado's second interception of the quarter, making a nice return, but the Warriors force a stop. Backed up, and the Wildcats come crashing in. Takoy Stewart emphatically has the tackle for loss. Same score on the second. Mitchell Polk slings it off to DeAndre Burns, breaking a tackle and finding room, weaving his way to set up a go-ahead field goal. El Dorado ahead, 10-7, late in the second, but that's when Walker White starts doing damage with his legs. The junior quarterback has offers from Arkansas and Bama as an athlete, and he shows why, marching the Warriors downfield. Now in the red zone, White keeps it again and rolls in to retake the lead. So it's a 14-10 Little Rock Christian advantage heading into halftime. El Dorado came in here with a fighting spirit, but in the second half, Little Rock Christian would run away with it. And speaking of running, Walker White would do it with his arm and his legs, passing for a touchdown and rushing for one in the second half, while his defense pitched a shutout the rest of the way. As the Warriors win this one, 27-10, to set the stage for a massive matchup in Little Rock next week. Isn't that right, Wes? That's right, Nick. It'll be fun at War Memorial Stadium, Little Rock Christian Academy, and Catholic.